Okay, so I am back doing this again. Um, uh, so I'm just going to start from the beginning. This is a, another one of those fat finger demos that I'm doing. And what I'm showing off is what is called uh, Forge from the creator of Magit. So if you don't know what Magit is, you should. Too. So I made a little project that I did that does some auto completions for. Um, for uh, GitLab quick action, so yes, I'll show that off in a second. But what my what Forge does is it lets me get information about what's going on on the, uh, the origin. So like, I'm here, I'm using GitLab, so it shows me my issues, and it shows me my pull requests that we have open. And if I can go, I can go into the issues. Uh, uh, this is something else I wanted to show off. Um, that it just shows the name, the title of the issue in here. But let's see, what was the stupid test? And we can see all oh, the comments that I did here. And let's try and, and I can reply to this. Let's try and do it. Let's try and close the merge request. Okay, so here you can see my, this is my, um, my package that I made. Not really a package, just a lot. But there's autocomplete for quick actions for Git. Lap. So let's do close and this is stupid. Okay, so I made a now we're making a comment on the merge request and I'm using the quick action so it should close it. Okay, let's see what happened here. Yep, see it's changed the state to closed and they will then go through. But I can also assign it myself. Now let's check it. Look at what happened with my see that my stupid test. You close the issue. That's funny. You close the issue. You close the issue, but not the. Oh, I was looking at the issue, not the merge request. Huh. Okay. Well, I can change this from here, and and I can close. Yep. Ah, so it wouldn't do a merge before because I didn't didn't, really, didn't do the WIP. There is WIP. Forget about it. GitLab puts these WIPs in the beginning and won't let you merge them. So, sorry. Okay, so that did. Ah, that's very cool stuff. So it unmarked the work in progress. Let's try to merge again. I'll get it to merge. Done. And charge. That's the minute first. It's not the first time we've done this. Merge. Do anything? Okay, so that thing. So let's just close it this way. And Sorry, uh, what was it? Uh, C, Control C, Control E, and I can close it that way. Okay. Uh, okay. Now this is the one that I do want to use, so I'm not going to do anything with that right now. I'm not ready to make a merge request for this yet, but there is something you want to see. So if I look at all the issues, it shows them this way. And this doesn't give me so much information. So I'm going to go back to my NIFAT org and I get forge. Okay, now this will set up, it uses a, uh, what is it? Uh, I don't even remember what the, the mode is called. It's like a table view mode or something like this. So this, this will set up the, um, this will set up, give you more columns in there. So if you run this option and go back to the issues, quit that, and select my git buffer. Oh, wow, what did I do? No, oh, because I didn't want here, I wanted, I have any issues here? Okay, let's, let's take a look at the issues here. And I was testing this out. And you see that now, 
if I have issues. I don't have to reverse or something. So you see now it has um, has the milestones, something not set up right. So there's no milestones set up, set up on this. Uh, but if it did have milestones, it would show them. And what I can do is there is a filter, uh, name filter. Okay. Tab list, that's what it's called. Tab list, and you can push a name filter. Oh, there's no filter that I have. Okay, the tab list filter. And I can make a filter, so anyone that says, uh, if I just want to do column and state, paint equals and open. Well, oh, that didn't work. So that'll only filter to my open ones. Um, and you can create filters like more advanced ones. You go to the ones that are assigned to me. And so it doesn't have a sign. I didn't add that here. And uh, if I would just want to the ones that are assigned to me, if I want to filter them by updated. So I think it's tab. Filter. Uh, filter. And we can do tab. Sort. Oh, there's a big S for the letter. Right, so I can sort it by column. You can jump to a different columns in the middle here. Let uh, me update it. You can capital S. So that's how you're working with the tablets. So they are going about seven minutes. I'll just give you a quick uh, help to set this up. And do, do, do. Okay, so I have I really need to clean all this up. Oh, this is another thing. The setting up of the um, the authentication is kind of wonky for uh, for GitLab. So I made a function that will um, prompt you for your. Uh, so if you do forge create secret auth. Um, hello. Can do that. Oh, right. Okay, so it asks you for what, what you're what your token is and so you have to figure out how to do that but once it reads your token it will save it into the secret services that uh, you'll have to read more about how that works but it's for saving passwords and things like that uh, that works in with your desktop environment um, and then use that I'll put in my token I'll save the token and then you'll be able to use Forge. okay so that's that and so and so I'm just looking at my get um, there was a bug, which I think they fixed, that this just said it, so it wasn't using a workaround that they put in a workaround and then uh, uh, this is what I used to set up those, um, what you call it, uh, the column names in the tab list. And this is what I used for creating that secret off. Okay, and then after you do this, you can just go into your run my get like normal and then the first time you will do um, you try to pull it, it should but make sure that you do the forge create secret off first and put your token in there and then let me know how this worked out for you this is a really cool project it lets me do a lot of work without leaving uh, leaving Emacs which is I mean, that's the whole point is only thing that I, I really that I need to go into Emacs for now is seeing uh, about pipelines that we need to leave Emacs for is so seeing pipelines yeah, okay, that's what I'm gonna, oh, okay, well, oh, okay. Um, so, 
this thing. Um, so I made a, a images. Right. So I made a, a you saw me using that uh, autocomplete for the um, for GitLab quick actions. I want to add other stuff to it now, but you can install it and use it. Let me know what you think. Uh, you're going to need to clone it from uh, exactly. I haven't put it in any package manager. I don't think I plan to do that right now. Uh, but then once you, if you use GitLab, then you'll get those autocompletes like you see here. Um, another thing is that if you want to support uh, support me doing this, and also if you want to support uh, yeah, Jonas who makes all these all the stuff pretty much I talked about today, Magit and Forge. Uh, I s made some shirts, coffee cups and stuff with his with the Magit logo on them. So if anybody buys those from the shop that I'll try and put the links in the description, I will give the profits to him. Okay, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.